Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. In this video here I'm going to be talking about the Super Shredder that at the time of this recording is available in the event store for the weekly daily mission currency. And of course I bought it, I leveled it up and I'm going to be going through it in this video here. First things first, these here were my perks. I think pretty horrible, <laughs> like wow, 75% reload speed, yeah. Uh, it is classified as a sniper rifle, it is a ranged sniper rifle. This means that it gains benefits from ranged weapon perks as in pretty much all soldiers and not really anything else and I'm gonna be going a little bit through that in this video because I have already been getting quite a few questions from you guys out there about whether or not this thing here would be getting perks as a shotgun, will it be getting perks as an assault rifle, will it be getting perks as this and that, and I've been like, I've looked into it and I'm not entirely sure, but I am now, and like, to spill the beans, it doesn't really get bonuses from everything, anything is what I meant. I'm choosing to go obsidian with this here instead of going shadow shot, and that is because my main weapons are all shadow shots. So I kind of need to push some weapons towards the obsidian part of the spectrum because I'm just stashing it up. So that is really why I decided to, to go obsidian with it. There is another shredder in the game, the epic version of it, and I have it in my collection. There we have it. It's just called a shredder, not a super shredder. And I have godlike perks for that one. Like, wow, look at that. 30% damage, headshot damage, nature damage, crazy. If you look in the collection book, you can see that there are only two Shredder Snipers, so we only have the Epic and the Legendary variant. There are no rares or uncommons or commons. That's what we have. So if you have those two, you can fill your collection book if you want to do that. Reloading is like the main pain with this weapon here. It is completely crazy. But what I want to do now is just to showcase the perks on it from Heroes. This here is like the base hero that I have on it. It deals, deals. it gives 10% additional damage to ranged weapons and it is a ranged weapon. It has these two subclasses. It has ranged and sniper. So those, well, sniper rifle. So as you can see here, that is pretty much what we have. 10% crit chance and 50% critical hit damage. And I've been trying to slot in the different heroes to see can I somehow affect these things by things that boost other things? Can I give it an increased hit rate for shotguns? Does it count as a shotgun? And no, we still have 10 and 50% crit chance and crit hit damage, so it doesn't really count as a shotgun in terms of that. If I put in the Master Grenadier for 24% additional damage as an assault weapon, will that count? Once again, same damage as before, so unfortunately, the Super Shredder, as super as it may be, is super as a standalone thing. The good thing about that is that almost all heroes can use it equally. Soldiers gain a 10% bonus and that's it. Nothing like besides that for boosting it up. Flooding it with the new Rapid Jonesy, same numbers. So there is really nothing I could do hero-wise to boost up my damage of this here and just for comparison here I have the ranged shotgun and as we can see here with the hit chance 5% 185 damage slotting rapid ranger jonesy for the 20% bonus going into the armor again we can see we now have 25% hit chance so this is just to like show you guys you don't need to <laughs> go into a game just by changing your heroes in the menu and inspecting your weapons, you can immediately see the effect of the build you have selected. You don't need to go all, you know, experimenting and <laughs> checking out, shooting husks and checking if they deal the amount of damage you are expecting. You can fiddle around with your build in here. And these here are like 24% increased shotgun damage. So again, this year, just taking in the characters for reference now that I'm doing the video, looking into it and you guys have been asking. All of the perks that I could like find related to shotguns and they work with the Dragon's Might that is classified as a shotgun. They do not work on the Super Shredder and if you're wondering then no. It is pretty much the same deal for the Hydra that also counts as an assault rifle but not as a shotgun so 
you kind of need to obey the rules of the game in terms of the classification and at this time we do not have any heroes focusing on snipers that I know and this here is the base damage of the weapon when I don't have a soldier selected so without the 10% bonus as well this is like the plane on the stats the super shredder besides that even though you can't boost it up it can be used by all heroes almost equally making it something I feel all players can really take advantage of having it is pretty easy to shoot with it has a very nice hitbox for sniping and you need to remember this is a sniper weapon you really need to treat it as a sniper weapon or as like a really 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 uh, long range shotgun slash assault weapon because that is how you need to play with it when i started playing i was super hyped about the super shredder until we got the hydra in the game then i kind of like didn't really want the hide <laughs> the super shredder any longer and here you can really see like the damage in terms of distance on husks as well if if a husk is far away you really need to headshot to have high damage on it the hitbox is large for sniping you can have a head of a husk in there at a long distance but in terms of dealing damage close range it really isn't that large of a hitbox you know you can't hit like 10 mobs at a time which really means that the super shredder is a horrible weapon for crowd control and I kind of just did a review on the Nocturno and I also did the crowd control thing there and it's an important thing because you are often presented with a lot of husks. Another thing that is really cool about this here is that for sniping it doesn't have a scope but you do zoom in to some degree and you get a really really like large hitbox for that and it shoots pellets meaning that it is pretty easy for you to headshot at distance because you don't just fire one small projectile, you actually headshot with just something and then you deal the like headshot on it. If you do use it as a crowd control issue weapon, you're also like very likely to hit something because even though it has a small hitbox for a close range weapon, it is not a shotgun with like a huge box in the middle. You are very likely to hit something if you are attacking a cluster of opponents and in doing that also a headshot. Headshots are <laughs> really important. You need to hit the face. It is not really just a headshot. You know, you want to be hitting things in the face, which means that when you have something such as a smasher, hitting it from behind just means you deal almost no damage. And with my weapon here, where I also have an increased headshot damage perk on it, it just becomes even more important for me to actually hit the husks that I am damaging in the face. I don't have that many shots in the barrel, Reloading is a pain. You reload one weapon at a time, slow, like slow on firing. So you can't just go around shooting randomly the husks in the feet and in the bellies. You need to really treat it as a sniper, aiming for the heads, taking out the important husks with this, and then use another weapon for your, your crowd control. Or if you don't have the time to be sniping, because even though it is faster than a lot of other snipers, it is still a sniper thing. If you have a crowd like what I have here, like this is not where you want to be taking out your super shredders to go bananas with. Of course you can take them out one at a time, but of course what you want to be doing in a situation like this is pull out the sword, you know, slash through them, perhaps even take out the nocturnal or put down your plasma pulse. The thing about the super shredder, however, is that it is a divine weapon in the early game. We have small waves of husks coming and you can clear them out one at a time with the super shredder at a great distance from your fort. You can one shot beehives, you can one shot propane so that they explode. It gives you a massive amount of control for defense style maps in the very very like Planker 10 again and Stonewood. These are the areas in the game I consider to be like the super progressional ones. Of course Canyon Valley is as well to some degree. But the game kind of takes a bit of a mesa shift when you progress through Candy Valley, making it a completely different game. Keep in mind when you're using this, you know, use your abilities with it, combine it with other weapons. And of course you can aim at close range, you can do that. You can even hit, hit these hummingbirds as David Dean calls him. He makes great videos by the way, if you don't know him. It is usable at short distance, but you it's not crowd control it it really isn't so it is a great weapon 
but you really, really, really want to consider it as a sniper weapon or a secondary shotgun slash assault rifle at best, is like my opinion on it. One important thing about it being a sniper rifle is that you can give it to your defenders that are snipers. And that is probably like one of the few good things I, I have to say about the sniper classification because I often find myself in a situation where I'm a bit unsure about what to give my sniping defenders. I don't want them missing. You know, then it's like, it's slow. This one shoots pellets. It makes it easy to actually hit with it. And what you can do when you're playing with it alone is to have two of them stacked up, just as what you might do with a slow loading pistol or something like that. And instead of waiting for reload, you can just swap weapons. It's not ideal, and I don't really recommend you go with two of these, but if you want to be like really having fun with this weapon, you can do it. That, guys, was what I had to say about the Super Shredder. I'm really hyped about finally having it. I'm just probably not going to be using it that much, to be honest, considering my decent-sized armory. For now, guys, and as always, thank you very much and very much for watching.